When we do gene tests in individual, we do those in two different contexts. Um, often we're doing uh, those types of tests in individuals who already have cancer and they want that information to understand why they developed cancer and to give uh, information about the best possible treatments for those cancers and also to see if they might be at increased risk of having new cancers in the future. In those kinds of situations, the conversations we have are very similar to um, any other kind of medical conversations that we have with people who have got a disease. The discussions we have with people who are well at the current time, but are interested in trying to understand more about their future risk of cancer are much more complicated. Um, when we're having those discussions, it's not clear exactly what the risk is. We can estimate it, but we also don't know even if they are at increased risk, exactly when that might happen or how it might affect them. So there's a lot of uncertainty there and a, a lot of discussions that need to be had uh, in relation to whether to have the test, um, when to have that test and how one might deal with that information. Um, and in general, as individuals and societies, we're not very, um, we don't, we haven't had many opportunities to have windows into the future, but increasingly with genetic information information, that opportunity is potentially available to us and both as individuals and societies we're in a phase of um, trying to discover how we best want to use that information.